Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this result. So the result says if you have two matrix spaces x d and y d dash, where x d is a discrete matrix space, then if you have any function f from x to y, it's definitely a continuous function. So here we will start with a given information. The given information is that matrix space x d is a discrete matrix space. We are familiar with the definition of discrete matrix space. That matrix is defined in this way: distance is zero if points are equal, and distance is one if points are not equal if, or if, if the points are distinct. So, in discrete matrix space, there are only two distances, zero and one. Get it? So, this is the domain we have, and we have to prove that any function f from x to y is continuous. Get it? So, before proving this result, we are going to prove a very important thing. Okay? So, let us prove that thing. So, let me mention claim here. that claim is every subset of discrete matrix space every subset of discrete matrix space xd is open so we are going to prove this one first if you take any subset of discrete matrix space 101% it is open so i am going to take any subset of x let us take let a subset of x now we have to prove this set a is open let us see how to prove any set is open suppose this is a matrix space xd we have and we have any subset a of x we have to prove it is open that means we have to take any arbitrary point of that set and we have to find a ball around it which entirely lies inside set a then we can say a is open so let us take one arbitrary point so let small a belongs to capital a b any arbitrary point so now our target is to find a ball with center a and some radius r such that that ball should lies inside that ball should lie inside this set a so let us consider one ball so i am considering a ball with center a and radius half getting center a and radius half so by definition of open ball we can write so it that set contains all elements of x such that distance between x and a is less than this radius which is half so this is equal to x belongs to capital x such that but see in a discrete matrix space we have just two distances only 0 and 1 here we are having a distance less than half that means 101% that distance is 0 so therefore distance between x and a is 0 So will you tell me when we get distance zero? So distance is zero. That means both points are equal. So let me mention here. So x belongs to capital X such that x is equal to a. So distance is zero. That means both points are equal, right? So that ball is a collection of all all elements of x which are equal to a. That means we will have a single element a. Getting so this is a ball. with center a radius half is nothing but a single element a which is the center of that ball right so what we have written here a belongs to capital a so let me write here here a belongs to capital a so therefore singleton set a is subset of a get it so basically it is a element of a so if you consider a singleton set it is a subset of a and that singleton a is nothing but this ball just now we proved so let us write so this is a ball with center a radius half subset of a so actually small a is any arbitrary point but we got a ball around it whose radius is half which is subset of a so yes we can declare a is an open set so therefore a is open so therefore So oh, here we have proved prove the claim that is every subset of discrete matrix space is open. Therefore, every subset of discrete matrix space X D is open. Get it? So yes, here we have proved the claim. So let us come back to the main result. So here we have to prove. If you consider any function f from x to y, it is continuous. Okay, this thing we have to prove. So let me mention now to prove that any function, so any function f from 
x to y is continuous on x. So this thing we have to prove. Okay, so actually we want some more space to write. Make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So there are several ways to prove any function is continuous. Okay. Uh, so let us recall the definition. What we have to prove function f. Let me draw the diagram so the picture will be clear to us. So we have this matrix space xd which is a discrete matrix space and yd dash is any matrix space, right? And we have a function f from x to y, okay? We have to pro prove the function f is continuous on x. That means we have to prove the function f is continuous at each and every point of this matrix space xd. So we have epsilon delta definition to prove this one or there is one more definition. If you have any sequence xn which converges to x then f of xn, f of xn its image sequence will converge to f of x. If you can prove this one then also we can declare the function f is continuous. There is one more way for any open set g in y its inverse image f inverse g okay it's, it is its inverse image that is also open in x. If we can prove this one then also we can declare the function f is continuous. Getting? So I am going to use this thing to prove the function f is continuous. So for that what we want we want any open subset g of y. So let us consider let g subset of y be an open set. Okay. So we have a set g which is subset of y. So obviously its inverse image each its inverse image is subset of x but just now we have proved every subset of discrete matrix space xd is open so that's why this is also an open set so implies f inverse g is open in xd so we can write by our claim so by claim in our claim we have already proved that xd is a discrete matrix space so that's why it's Every subset is open set. So f inverse g is also subset of x. So that's why it is open. So we started with any open subset of y and we proved its inverse image is open subset of x. So therefore we can declare f is a continuous function. So therefore f from x to y is continuous on x. So in this way we proved this result. Okay. So make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.